Hello and welcome back to a new video. It's Lake in here and I've got another speed build. So let's just get into it. Okay, so I added all the files to iMovie for this build and I had, <laughs> I had three hours of footage. So it took me three hours to build this house. So I have really sped it up because otherwise I'd be sitting here talking for like 20 minutes and I just, I can't talk that long. Like I find it so hard to do voiceovers as it is. I can't imagine talking for that long so yeah please just bear with me as we we get through this nine minutes of build but basically I have a family that I play with off camera I have spoke about it a little bit in a couple of my videos but basically it's like a family that has like a huge family tree it's just a lot of wholesome gameplay like a lot of um, people getting married, having kids, those kids growing up, going to university, getting jobs, getting married, having kids and it's just like that over and over again and I think I'm up to like the 13th or 14th generation which is insane I know I think that's the longest family tree that I've ever had it's so long that it actually like doesn't count all the people when it's kind of like it's all messed up but anyway that's off topic but anyway basically this particular sim I put through university and she did like a distinguished degree uh to become a doctor and she's absolutely aced it so She's got heaps of money now. She's got like 400,000 simoleons and she was living in a tiny home for like ages. And I was like, you know what? Sis deserves an upgrade. She has been working so hard on her degree, on her job, going to work every day because it's like an active career. And yeah, I was like, it's time for her to get a new house. And she also recently got married. So her and her wife are going to live in this house together. So I basically built it for them, but I, there's like a bedroom upstairs. That's kind of like a spare bedroom. And well, there's technically like three spare bedrooms really upstairs. And I've kind of just put them as different rooms. So one ends up being like the gym. The other one ends up being like a games room. And then the other one ends up being like a spare bedroom. So that's kind of where I'm at. I didn't like, I would call this home like modern, but I feel like I'm just going to call it semi-modern because not all the furnishings are modern. It's it's mostly modern. It's like a mostly modern home <laughs> and it is a very large home. I don't typically like building or playing in large homes because it's like, it's just a lot, but I'm actually really excited for this one. I put it in, I believe I put it in Windenburg on like the little island there. So it's kind of like foresty themed. Um, so yeah, they're kind of just secluded in their own little area. I gave them like pretty much everything that you'd need. As I said, that there's a gym and there's like yoga mats in there. There's a spa outside. There's a pool outside. They've got like a nice big laundry and I know riveting stuff. They've got a nice laundry. They've got a huge kitchen, like such a huge kitchen. And the kitchen also has like a little bar area. It took me a really long time to work out how I wanted the kitchen to go. Um, this whole house just took a long time to do because like I said, I always build like tiny homes and even just small family homes. Usually single story as well. I don't really like doing double story houses because they kind of just get annoying, especially when you have a lot of Sims. Like I like to, I like to see where my people are and what they're doing. Like if you have a double story, you kind of just end up like losing track of them, but I mean, it's fine. Um, yeah. So I tried to make the kitchen. It's like the kitchen's such a large space. So I tried to like utilize it, but also not overcrowd it. But I mean, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think it would be really nice when they have like a house party, uh, that we have so much room to entertain because they've got like a really big outdoor area as well because yeah they've got the pool the spa and then there's like a bit of grass area i also put in like some playground equipment not that they have kids yet but you know that's fine um yeah i put in a little playground area um and then they've also got like the nice outdoor not like decking area but the porch like the outdoor porch is it a porch you know what i mean um where it's got a barbecue and outdoor seats too so yeah, heaps of room to entertain. And then upstairs is basically where all the bedrooms are. And that's where the gym is and the games room and stuff like that. So, yeah. I also find myself, like, I never really use the, like, recreational stuff in The Sims. Like, I always use the chess tables and the easel, like, the painting easel. Because that, like, gives them skill gain. But she actually has, like, aced like I think seven different skills so I think you know she deserves to have some leisure time you know play play the the one where they pull the sticks the llama thing it's something to do with llamas anyway uh she can play that she can do uh the pong table <laughs> 
clearly my brain is it's really it's really just working i'm on my fourth voiceover right now like this is the fourth one that i filmed today i did nine yesterday for the same build uh and i i it was all bad it was all bad so i had to try do it again today so i've done that successfully i'm on my this is my last my last voiceover for the day so i mean it's pretty good i'm getting like so ahead of my videos like something that just really excites me is having like youtube videos all edited and queued up and like ready to go because it means that i can just put out like regular content and if i'm not feeling good one day i don't have to film like i because I, I like to stick to like a routine but yeah so I don't like have to film so yeah it's just so nice to have videos scheduled ready to go so that's definitely the vibe right now it's definitely what's happening it does mean that like if you guys leave comments and stuff it'll be a little bit late like it'll like I might have already filmed another episode of a let's play or something but I mean I'll work on that as time goes ahead right now my channel is very small clearly so it's like it's not an issue right now um but yeah so I'm definitely definitely like really liking this house that I built it's very different for me I don't normally do like very modern builds but I feel like I I did do a modern build and I did base this house off a house I found in the gallery as well um because I, I wanted to make the front look nice and different like I didn't want it to be like just a square and I wanted it to be really different but yeah and I, I really like large modern windows but like when you have that in suburbia it's like everyone can see into your house so the fact that this house is like in the middle of nowhere it gives them the opportunity to use the really big open windows and let all the natural light in and they can also see like the nice view that they've got of all the trees and then also the the ocean as well um so yeah uh with the the wall colors and things I always kind of struggle with like modern houses and what colors I should do the walls and stuff because I feel like in a lot of modern houses you kind of just have like plain walls like white walls but I feel like that's just very bland when you've got a really big house because then the whole house is just white so I put like a different color kind of thing in like every room and then pretty much just the hallways are white I'm pretty sure that's what it was um yeah and with that front sitting room I started doing that and then I made it very like old school and I was like this house is kind of like modern, so I feel like I should get rid of that old school antique vibe and do more of a modern, nice antique vibe. So it's kind of like this weird combination of like modern and antique-y, but I just wanted it to look like a real lush, expensive, I have a lot of money sitting room. That's what I was going for. <laughs> um, the games room upstairs, yeah, I just kept it like real cool. So, you know, when she has kids and they grow up to have teenagers, they can like hang out in there. It, it was it was a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be, but like all the rooms downstairs are just huge, so all the rooms upstairs look really small. I was gonna put in that sitting room at the front. I was gonna put that as the main bedroom, but I ended up just doing that as a sitting room, obviously, as you can see, because I liked the idea of having all the bedrooms upstairs. Upstairs, um, just in case they do have like a party and stuff like that. It's like you don't want to have the bedroom. Like you want to be able to like utilize all the floor space, and then no one really has to go upstairs. Um, yeah, so there is a bathroom downstairs too, and I think there's two bathrooms upstairs. I think or was there? I can't remember. You'll you'll see anyway. Um, and then downstairs, it's got like the really big laundry too, which is really nice. Um, the outside, like the side of the house, the right side of the house, I ended up doing that as a garden because she has this thriving garden at the moment um, in her tiny home. So I just basically brought all the plants over from that house and then put them in this house because she had like a money tree and stuff, which is also how she got a lot of money. Um, yeah, she got a money tree. So yeah, I added all those plants in after I finished filming. And I mean, you'll see it in the screenshots anyway, but that's why there's a glowing tree because there's a money tree and then she's got all these other plants too. Um, I did this little like stone path, which I kind of really liked because I, I did like the, the terrain tool and did the path there. But then I was like, is the, like, it just like looked odd. So I added the stones in, which made it look cuter, I thought. Anyway, it was basically just me downsizing and rotating a whole bunch of stones, but we got there in the end. Um, anyway, now we're onto the screenshots. I hope you like this house because I really like it. It is on the gallery. You can find my gallery id it's like an xo search it up download it if you if you like it but yeah anyway give me a thumbs up if you did like this video and leave a comment below if you would like to and you know what we can also do you can also subscribe so if you haven't already subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you again soon